Hello everybody, Ryan here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Acorn, my brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. I have no idea why I started this video off in front of this money tree that I have yet to uh, actually gather. But yeah, hello everyone. Welcome back to Acorn. <laughs> Hope you all are having a wonderful day and welcome to, I guess, what is officially villager hunt season. Uh, so in the last video on this channel, uh, I had an empty plot that I was hoping to leave up empty for a little while longer. And even though I was able to accumulate quite enough Nook Miles tickets, uh, thank you so much to Alize over on Twitch for donating so many Nook Miles tickets for the hunt, uh, hunts that we were about to be doing. Uh, I saw when I was loading up the game for the villager hunt this morning that the plot of land that I meant to actually hunt for has been sold. Now I have no idea who is moving in here, so I guess we are going to find out who that is but before i get started everybody as always if you like these videos and want to see more in the future please be sure to drop a like on the video and if you are new to the channel want to see more videos like this in your future in the future rather on your feed please be sure like a fortune teller in your future be sure to subscribe turn notifications on always helps now without further ado the person villager who's moved into this empty plot of land is hopefully a squirrel <laughs> oh diana not a squirrel but thus far the villagers that acorn has been getting have been uh have been pretty cool uh most of some of the villagers that i've had on this island recently are uh, villagers that i wouldn't necessarily pass up if i ever thought about having them on the island which is great you may be wondering about the immense amount of mannequins that you will see on my island as well too as we make our way to my home to pick up my nook miles uh my nook miles tickets this is just a neat little trick that i'm doing in order to help speed up along the process of getting to a three star island uh you have to have eight villagers at least and then a ton of points in scenery points in order for you to get three stars so uh yeah you'll see a lot of uh a lot of mannequins there uh, but as I said, I have quite a few Nook Miles tickets now. Uh, at this point, we don't have any squirrels on the island. So I don't think it's going to take more than... I'm going to pull out 50. And so you know whether or not we use 50 based on how long this video ends up being. But I'm going to pull out 50 and see... Even with the... I, I've done at least now like 10, 15-ish tickets just to see who... Like what kind of villagers I would get. And not any single one of them has been a squirrel... So that's been kind of unfortunate. Now that I've got my tickets, morning Adi, I need to double check and see if I can place out another plot of land. I should be able to now that given that this one is sold, but there's also a chance I might not be able to because whoever needs to move in there hasn't actually moved in yet. It's been a while since I've done this, so let's find out. Uh, you'll help prep some land. Okay, uh, so maybe you don't even have to, uh, maybe you don't even have to uh, have like one finished before moving on to the next one. I think if I remember correctly, you may be able to just go ahead and place all of these houses out already and then just kind of pray that they don't fill too quickly. Uh, also, correction to my last video as well too, I mentioned that the house has a chance to fill within three days, I believe. Uh, it turns out it is actually a seven day window. So if you are, and I've also noticed apparently a lot of people are also restarting their islands as well too. So good for everyone doing that. Um, yeah, apparently you have seven days, not three days. So uh, apologies to those who uh, who thought that as well, that I misled. And uh, there's some new information for you or some old information that I'm correcting. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to place this plot down here. We're just going to place it right next to what is now Diana's home. Perfect. And it is actually a pretty gorgeous day for uh for some villager hunting a nice clear <laughs> clear cloudy day uh so as i mentioned before we have 50 tickets here uh that we're going to be spending on this hunt today in this video and uh, once again i'm going to go through my list of villagers that i want the three that i really really want are filbert ione and marshall in addition to that the ones that i really like in regards to their kind of overall design uh, are blair caroline mint peanut Poppy, Static, and Sylvana. And that makes for a perfect 10 villagers. So hopefully I can find all 10 of these villagers and then I can just move them all into this island. Before we get started on this villager hunt though, as always, it's a good idea if you're gonna do villager hunts to drop your ladder. I know I've mentioned this in a few videos before. So if you've been following this channel for a while, I know that's not new information, but if you didn't know, 
dropping your ladder makes it so that you don't have to climb up different levels to see the villager. So it saves time if you're especially doing quite a lot like this. As we are loading up the villager hunt here, keep an eye on the upper right hand corner of the video is the nice little ticket counter. Uh, people like to know generally how long it takes for a certain villager to be seen or even how many tickets we have gone through up until that point and still not found anybody. So if you're curious to find out which ticket we find a specific villager on or how long it's been, Keep an eye on the upper right. Well, the first island is a little bit gloomy, so it means that most likely the other mystery islands that we run into are going to be gloomy too. Oh my goodness. Hello, Eugene. After getting rid of all of my koalas on Diamond, my all koala island, oh, it's going to be so nice, but also kind of sad to run into all these koala villagers now, but it's uh, I kind of wish you were Lyman, <laughs> but it's so fitting to run into a koala on ticket number one. Ticket two. I never have good luck on this island. And uh, same thing. Still not going to have any luck. Are you? It starts with a P. Pippi? Poppy? Pippi! It's actually a pretty gloomy day outside in real life. So what better day to go villager hunting? Third ticket of this villager hunt. Oh, oh, uh, Graham, right? Graham? Marlo. Dang it, Marlo. Graham is another one. Marlo is the mafioso, uh hamster and i love him he's great he's actually my uh i'm gonna show it right here really quick he's actually my little uh <laughs> my little profile picture for uh for new horizons uh or not for new horizons for my nintendo switch uh, even though lyman is my favorite character we don't have a lyman icon and marlo for some reason i just love his design <laughs> uh, in previous videos i said if if squirrels were not it it would be cubs uh Let's say hamsters are a close second. Cubs are also a close second. Knowing my villager hunt luck, this is most likely where I am going to run into probably Patty or Coach or Norma. Surely we'll run into a squirrel before ticket number 10. Not a good sign thus far. Olivia is ticket number four. I never know how I feel about any of the villagers with makeup on, honestly. Oh, it's been a while since I've run into Ninja Bunny. Genji, are you? Dang it, Snake. Uh, Snake, so Snake was a starting villager that I had on Chillin. And I actually, uh, actually really loved Snake's design. I still love Snake's design. Even though the pink bunny doesn't really come out as much as the ninja outfit. I love it. Eyes are kind of creepy, though. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, wait a minute. Ticket number six, Naomi. <laughs> Naomi, okay. I thought it was Norma and I was about to freak out, but okay, it's close enough. I did say Norma, Naomi, not Naomi. I said Norma, Coach, or Patty. This is one of the cows I said. This is close enough. Hi, Alice. Ticket number seven, another koala. At this point, I'm going to run into all of the koala villagers that I was trying to get the first time faster than I'm going to get any of the squirrel villagers that I am going to want for acorn. Uh, so that's two koala villagers and zip uh, squirrel villagers. Almost said acorn villagers. You've got to be kidding me with ticket number eight. Hi, Canberra. <laughs> Three koalas before ticket 10 and not a single squirrel. This is crazy. Man, if you've been following this channel and you were there during the koala villager hunts, you will know that uh, it is absolutely insane that I'm running into so many koalas this early. My my <laughs> my koala luck has never been so high. Come on, ticket number nine. Please be a little nicer. What? <laughs> not. No, not. <laughs> On Marlo again. <laughs> My Animal Crossing villager hunt luck is like amazing and also terrible at the exact same time. It's the weirdest thing. I've never been in this purgatory before. So many hamsters. Why can't <laughs> should have just made a hamster island? Hi, Hamlet. And it's crazy because the hamsters that we're running into are awesome as well, too. What would be a good name for an all hamster island? Like hamster wheel? Acorn for squirrels was pretty obvious, but let me know in the comment section down below what kind of name for an island you would give to an all hamster island. A little bit of a miscount there. Now we are officially into the second stack of tickets and oh man. Hello Marina. It was always so fun to run into one of the three 
uh, octopus villagers. Well, now there's four. Now there's Cephalobot. Positive attitude. Good vibes. No duplicates. No Marlow. Gonna be a squirrel. Oh, and it's a, uh, it's a wolf. A cool looking wolf though. Hi, Freya. If I had an old pink island, I think Freya would be on it. I also feel like you are a villager who starts with an F. Frigga! I've actually been making it a point to make sure that I run around and get all of the DIY bottles on these islands as well too, since I now know, uh, well, nothing <laughs> anymore. Oh, now it's raining too? <laughs> just keep on, let's just keep on adding on to, uh, to this villager hunt luck. Yeah, there it is. Uh, are you Nox? You, yeah, because Sterling is the other one. Cherry the dog. You know what's unfortunate? Is, uh, it would have been much more appropriate for me to run into Cherry on, well, yesterday. It was Halloween yesterday. Also, that's unfortunate. A little late on the timing there, Cherry. Oh man, I every time I see like a smallish form factor villager, I get really excited. Uh, this is Tad, another frog villager who I actually really like. After getting Henry in the campsite, Tad's actually kind of cool. Mouth is kind of weird though. I can't say anything, I guess, because I kind of somewhat chose the same mouth this time around. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> 17 tickets in and so many hamsters. Hello, Soleil. Oh, the sky's clearing up. That's kind of cool. Ticket number 18 on this very strange villager hunt. I see yellow. Oh, I saw the yellow raincoat. Uh, the tusks. Uh, Tucker, right, because the woolly mammoth design, which I still think is super awesome. Another. Are you Kyle? Another wolf? Yeah, Kyle. It's. I. How can I remember Kyle? <laughs> it's like the most just basic name for a wolf ever. Last ticket of the second stack. 20 tickets down, no squirrels, all chickens, all, all wolves, all hamsters primarily. Goose, the chicken, on ticket 20. I can't say that this hasn't been an interesting hunt so far. Now, obviously, there are still some species that I haven't run into other than just squirrels. Like, I haven't run into a single uh, horse, for example, yet. So, you know, I guess when you look at it from kind of that bigger perspective, it it's not, the luck isn't that bad. It's still pretty bad, but it could be worse. <laughs> oh man, ticket 21. I'm getting a lot of the poppy villagers though. Like, I don't know, something about their color scheme or their design really does stick out. Celia on ticket 21. Well, first cool looking, uh, kind of bluish villager, uh, Doc. Oh, that's the first anteater on this villager hunt. Ticket number 23. We have Snooty, number 24. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Again, saw the form factor, even saw the ears. Uh, the rock mouse, Moose, with the, uh, the, the always raised eyebrow. If this game had come out like 22 years ago when I was a big wrestling fan, I probably would have, I probably would have grabbed Moose the moment that I could have. The rock was my favorite wrestler growing up. This is officially 25 tickets down of the 50 that we originally started with. So we are halfway done with this video's villager hunt here. Ticket number 25. <laughs> oh, almost right on cue. I don't have the blessing or the apologetic emote to do for the blessing that I usually get for you. So I wonder if you would just join me in a wonderful uh well you're turned away from me now can would you sit if i sat in front of you well the sitting has done nothing so i'm just gonna do this instead there we go that got kind of a response from him <laughs> no <laughs> not not oh wait a minute oh i thought you were norma uh uh you are megan Ursula. Megan is another bear, but I think Megan might be purple. I'm just going to blame the rain for this villager hunt. <laughs> Ticket number 27, Antonio Olaf. I, I get Antonio and Olaf mixed up quite a bit. Well, so much for me getting villager names, right? Dang, another frog. Although this frog is usually great. Lily. Hi, Lily. So Lily, Henry, and Tad are the frog villagers on Acorn that I have basically seen up until that point. And yeah, if you'd given me three frog villagers to have on, on an all frog island, not a bad start. Come on, Bamboo Island. Give me not, <laughs> not oh, not Olaf again. I officially dislike Bamboo Island a lot. 
Ticket 30 behind the tree I saw is a monkey in a raincoat. Ticket 30 is Monty. Another pink Paolo. Oh man, 32 tickets in. Spike. Oh, Duck Mallory might be this Gloria. Dang it. Ticket number 33 is Gloria. Once again, kind of another makeup uh makeup villager. I guess what would your uh what would your what would your all makeup villager island be called? Ticket 34 wait. Ticket number 34 is not Glory Mal what? <laughs> Oh look, it's uh who are the 10 villagers that I wanted? I, I said it was Mallory, and then it was not Mallory, and then the next villager is Mallory. Oh, look! It's uh, Filbert, Ione, Marshall, Blair, Caroline, Mint, Peanut, Poppy, Static, or Silvana. This is definitely that villager. <laughs> um, that is absurd. Ticket 35. It's still raining. My luck has been bad. Cool puppy villager, though. It is Cookie. Uh, I already saw it from the dock. Ticket 36. Uh, first kangaroo of the hunt. I'm not even going to go bother talking to... Uh... And there is the first horse villager, Julian. The wonderful unicorn villager who... Unfortunately, you can't see the unicorn horn because of the rain hat, but that's okay. My confidence is not broken. My spirit is not broken. Ticket 38 is not the worst ticket. It really isn't. It's not a squirrel. <laughs> ticket 38 is Tom from myspace and there it is are you norma or are you patty you are patty okay so one called villager from earlier it took a while but man ticket 39 it's hard to believe that i still am looking for 10 whole squirrels and on the first attempt at this it's taken me well now it'll take me over 40 tickets cherry we've already run into you on another villager hunt Another animal, another villager that would have been kind of more suited for Halloween time. Biscuit. I know Biscuit isn't like fully a Halloween themed villager like Cherry is, but I don't know. I guess it's something about the design. It's uh, kind of kind of Halloweeny to me. Maybe it's the eyes. Maybe it's the stripes. I don't know. Behind the tree, I see a pink villager. Not Norma. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not Norma. What is this villager hunt? Please stop giving me cows. Stop giving me duplicates. Please don't give me Marlo again. Although that would be kind of cool. I <laughs> just want a squirrel. Oh, hey, it stopped raining. Oh, it must be close to the top of the hour. Well, at least it stopped raining. Maybe that'll bring in some, <laughs> some good luck for this hunt that we have been sorely missing for 42 tickets. Cephalobots is the 42nd ticket. So now we just need to run into Octavian. There's even a little rainbow in the background too. Double rainbow. I don't see rainbows very much in, in New Horizons. So that's really cool. One thing I, I think I still have yet to really see as well is the Northern Lights. Or maybe I've seen it one time. But I usually don't play uh, Animal Crossing at night. Or at least that late. If I, if I were to see the Northern Lights, I'd probably have to time travel for it. Come on, sunshine and rainbows. Let's get some good luck here on ticket number 44 of this villager hunt. Mac. The dog. Ah, oh, first time running into Money Rock Island on this video's villager hunt. Uh, cool rhino strawberry shortcake meringue villager. Yeah, <laughs> meringue. Always so cool to run into meringue. Oh man, ticket number 46. Wait, are you Gloria again? Oh, these duplicate villagers showing up. If the next one is Mallory, I'm just going to go ahead and shut off the whole villager hunt. Ticket 47. See, I always want to say something about hamburgers or tacos. Carlos. Ticket 47. Hamburgers is someone else. Leopold. Leonardo. <laughs> Dang. Did the same thing with the other Leo earlier. Or rather, I think it was the same Leo and I accidentally said Pold instead of Leonardo. Is that Tad again on ticket number 49? Please don't be. It is. <laughs> well, if anybody had a like any sort of bet or anything for this video of how many duplicate villagers I would have run into, uh, I guess I don't know how, what count that is. That might be four, maybe five, maybe I don't know, maybe three or four, but so many duplicates and with only one ticket left really in this uh in, in this whole... Well, if it's not a squirrel, I'm probably going to grab more tickets. But still, 50 tickets and not a single squirrel to even say no to? Well, we've done a lot of tickets already up until this point. 
And hopefully we don't have to dip into more tickets for future villager hunts, but it's not looking very good so far. Ticket number 50. We're just going to run out there and see. Oh, man. <laughs> Almost right on cue, Octavian. The final octopus villager we've yet to run into in this entire hunt appears on ticket number 50. So, wow, usually I don't meet all the octopus villagers in one villager hunt sitting, let alone within 50 tickets. Usually for these hunts, I do anywhere above 50 to 100, because usually by that time, uh, I have a more than enough villagers on my island that the chance of me finding specific villagers that I want is quite uh, low. But given the fact that Acorn itself doesn't have its first squirrel kind of dreamy villager on it that I want, which would be one of the 10 in the beginning. I'm just going to pick up the other Nook Miles tickets that I have in my storage and keep on going. And I would like to hopefully go until we get our first uh, our first dreamy squirrel on this island. Another 50 tickets ready to go. Let's do it. Ticket 51. We start with Nan. I was really, really kind of hoping that without saying anything, just walking up to it, that Ticket 51 would have been it and I wouldn't have to spend these uh, these other 49 tickets that I got. Bill, ticket 52. I could be more upset about running into Bill, but I just cannot. Uh, whenever I run into Bill, Bill, always good to see you. No way. I don't, I really don't mean to sound so defeated. How is ticket 53 Norma? What in the world? Is there something different about how villagers in the beginning of the game are inch? Probably not. No, it's just another conspiracy. No, Frank or Hank or something. Green, Frank. <laughs> Green Eagle. Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have one, one request. It's, it's a pretty big request, but still just one. Uh, and it's kind of multi-tiered. Uh, please stop giving me duplicate villagers. <laughs> villagers that I don't like. And, uh, you know, I'm only looking for... 10 squirrels. You haven't even shown me, uh, you haven't even shown me one. I would love to at least see one squirrel while I'm on this hunt. Ideally, I would like to see Philbert, Iona, or Marshall, or any of the other seven that I said, but just show me at least one. Bam. I saw you, bam. Ticket 57. Again, another cool blue villager. No, not Prince again. <laughs> no. Can I at least just... Uh, Show me new villagers game. Ticket number 59 is... It, it's probably Mott or Leopold. Yeah, Leopold. Dang, dang, dang. Uh, another blue Bruce. Bruce and Bam are two villagers that I have thought about. I, I kind of had a toss up for one of them when I was hunting for blue villagers a long time ago. Ultimately, I ended up choosing Bam. I think I ended up just going with whoever I got first, but Bruce has always been uh, really cool to me as well, too. Really like his shade of blue that that they uh, that they colored him with. Oh, no! No! No, 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 no! Oh, my goodness. Ticket 61. Shino. Not... Dang it. Not the, uh, not the 2.0 villager that we were looking for, but this is great. Uh, Shino, for those that are unaware, Shino was only recently released uh, with the uh, the new Amiibo cards that were released late last year or earlier this year. I can't remember, but first time seeing Shino on a villager hunt. I didn't villager hunt much after the Amiibo cards came out. I was really only looking for Faith and the Koala villagers. So I didn't have a chance to run into most of the new villagers like Roswell or Marlo or Shino on uh, on these villager hunts. So running into Shino is a very nice surprise, even though it's not any of the squirrels. Uh, it's nice to see a villager that we consider to be at this point kind of rare. I know that when it comes to things like RNG and the randomness of finding villagers, running into Shino is just as equally uh, able to happen-ish as it is to, say, Marlow. Obviously, you have to take into account the actual species count, but percentage-wise, it's not that far off. So someone please tell me why I'm running into so many duplicates. <laughs> Ticket 62. Let's just keep on tacking on blue villagers. <laughs> Ticket 62. 
Hornsby. One of my favorite blue villagers in Animal Crossing. No, 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 no. No, why? 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 Hornsby. Again, I just, oh, I just said Hornsby were like my favorite blue villager. But it doesn't mean I wanted to see you again. It has been. Well, for me, it's been a while since I've run into Bamboo Island on this video. It probably hasn't been very long, but I'm not expecting much to come from this visit here <laughs> except for running into the craziest clown villager ever pietro i really do like the craziness of pietro's design ticket 65 i got the count wrong is that another koala oh my goodness sydney i'm just running into the entire diamond population in this run aren't i Berdo will be ticket 66 i don't normally believe in a lot of the things that you can do in order to try and get better villagers on villager hunts i.e doing things like putting out fires on campsites P people have gone so far as to even say that resetting your system's cache is it, it, it's all nonsense but i am totally willing to put on my uh conspiracy like conspiracy theory pants and then try some of these crazy things that a lot of people, uh, you know, have said works in the past. I, I'm getting that desperate, I feel like. 66 tickets down. One thing I used to always do is uh, if I was ever doing a 100 ticket villager hunt at around 90 tickets, so 10 tickets left, I would just, uh, I would do this thing where I would <laughs> go to all the, uh, all the islands, uh, take off all of my character's clothing, thinking for some reason that that was going to be good luck. I don't think I'm going to do it in this video, but yeah, it's something... Something I've done in the past around the channel. <laughs> 67. No. No, that's not Marlo. That's not Marlo. I saw Hamster and I saw the black, but it's not like gray. This is Hamfrey. So at least we got another Hamster, but I was I was getting ready to see Marlo for the third time. Ticket 68 is Bertha. I They're all starting to kind of blend together. I thought we, I'd already ran into Bertha already, but no. 68 Bertha. Ticket number 69. Nice. Wow. Yuka. Koala number five on this villager hunt. Well, well, well. Ticket 70. Eugene. <laughs> Again. Ticket 71 is either Fang or... Not Whitney. Maybe Whitney? Definitely Fang. I already saw that this is the kind of martial arts penguin. Hopper is taking number 72. I only say martial arts penguin because of the like Bruce Lee style outfit. I, I don't even know if Hopper has any like martial arts kind of personality things to him. Got the ticket count wrong. This is actually ticket 73 and 73 we have, this might be Antonio. This is Antonio the anteater. At least we're running into a lot of blue villagers. Ken, although that's mm, Maybe a little bit more purple. And we have our first gorilla of these uh, 75 tickets. Ow. Oh, they must be hidden behind here. And it's Genji. <laughs> uh, I thought you were the ninja rabbit earlier, Genji. Take a 77. Wait a minute. Oh, no, you're new. Deli. Not it on ticket 78 either. Boots. Oh. <gasps> Ticket 79, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Ticket 79 is finally a squirrel. It is it Nibbles? Unfortunately, Nibbles is not on my list of dreamy villagers. But I will say though, now that uh, this just might be the craziness in me that is finally kicking in and I'm just doing this as a compromise. But I mean, to be honest, Nibbles is not the uh is not the worst uh, squirrel villager i actually nibbles was if anything part of a list of villagers that i had on the maybe list and wasn't entirely sure where nibbles would end up sitting once all the other villagers were placed after giving it some thought i was taking a look at the squirrel villager list that i had once again and i decided that there was only one villager that if i was going to have any sort of flexibility on it was going to be peanut uh, Peanut is a pink squirrel, and while Peanut is kind of cool, I think that Peanut, for me, is about as cool as Nibbles is. And interestingly enough, 
in case anybody was wondering this, I did not choose the villagers that I wanted based on their personality types. I simply chose the villagers that I thought looked the best. In fact, some of the villagers that I chose, most of them actually are like, I think they're normal personality types. So to give you a further example of how much what they say doesn't really matter to me, uh, but more just how the villager looks. And I've even looked at some of their homes. They're really awesome. But Peanut being a peppy uh, villager, uh, the same way that Nibbles is, and the fact that it's not that Peanut is like a better villager for me. I actually really like Nibbles, and if anything, Nibbles to me is just uh, this island's version that I had of Ketchup for some reason. I don't know why that is, but after 79 tickets and doing nothing but running into a bunch of duplicate villagers and villagers I don't want, I think we're going to go ahead and say that instead of Peanut, we are going to take Nibbles instead. I'm just going to update my disc my my uh my list to reflect that peanuts gone nibbles is in and nibbles will round out the final 10 villagers hopefully this doesn't happen again where i i <laughs> just kind of compromised luckily it was a compromise for a squirrel that is actually kind of cool if it had been i'm just going to scroll through here for example if it had been sally i don't know if i would have uh i don't know if i would have done this but nibbles is close enough really enjoyed nibbles and yeah we will take uh we'll take nibbles to acorn Whew. 79 tickets it took for that one but i, I don't know when you, when you think about it it's it's actually like a lot less than that when i when i take into consideration the amount of duplicates that i ran into which felt like a lot but at the end might have only been five or six uh, but still five or six duplicates on a new island villager hunt not that encouraging and there we go. Two sold signs for two different plots. One for Diana and the other one, of course, for Nibbles. Well, this villager hunt definitely took a turn that I was not expecting it to. One, I was not expecting me to run into so many koala villagers. <laughs> that was kind of cool to run into so many previous villagers that I had on Diamond. Two, I certainly was not expecting to not run into a single squirrel villager until ticket number 79. And as I mentioned quite a few times, it wasn't even just our first squirrel, like our first, like it wasn't even a villager that we wanted. It was just, unfortunately, it was just our first even squirrel that we got on this villager hunt. But I still do enjoy doing villager hunts. And I know that the next villager hunt that we do for Acorn is either going to be similarly as crazy or we may just find our dream squirrel villager within the first five tickets. You never know with villager hunts, but that is going to do it for this villager hunt today, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping into the channel and watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you want more villager hunt videos, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. We have a lot more that this island needs. We have at least nine more villager hunts that Acorn is going to be going through, so be sure to subscribe for that. There's also a playlist in, on my channel for more villager hunts if you can't wait for that and just want to watch more crazy gambling on villager hunts on mystery islands in this game and of course if you enjoyed this video want more like it in the future fast too be sure to drop a like on this video thank you so much for watching again i've been villager hunting for so long i'm ready to be done with this <laughs> thank you again take care of yourselves have a wonderful day everybody and i'll see you guys in the next video bye now